What's up guys? It's Hog Dude 1234. I'm going hog hunting tonight. I'm going back here to the back at the ranch in my ladder stand. Y'all saw the pictures. That last vid I put up of those trail camera pictures had a bunch of hogs coming there. So if I don't get one tonight, it's going to be my own dang fault. Man, it's warm today. It's in the upper 80s. Winds out of the south. Perfect for this stand though. I'm already sweating. So I sprayed down, got my scent lock on. I'm good to go. Let's go see if we can't get us one. Alright guys, I'm set up here in the ladder stand. Got all my gear up here, bow hanging up, camera mounted. It's going to be a good little spot. This is the first time I've hunted in here and filmed a hunt, so it might be a little bit of a learning experience, but uh, i got a pretty good mount for my tripod here. and It's going to be good, but man, it's hot. It's going to be right before dark, before them pigs come out, so we'll just have to hang in here, sweat a little bit, try to hide behind this little branch to get some shade, so it's going to be fun. Hang tight. Let's see what happens. This wind just shifted on me. It was blowing out of the south when I was coming out here. Now it's blowing out of the north, kind of northwest, and swirling all right around in here. I sprayed down again, so we'll see what happens. I'm not moving. Busted. Hope that's not a sign of what's to come. She's still blowing over there. Guys, that was pretty exciting. I put the hammer down on that pig. I'm about to get down and go find him. There's my arrow. Oh, I'm not liking what I'm seeing with that. I see maybe six inches of penetration. Well, we got blood. <clears throat> Decent blood. I heard it smacking, that's for sure. But that really, really concerns me with no exit hole. Well, guys, there's plenty of blood right here, but I'm afraid it was whenever he was flopping around on his back. I aimed right, right behind his shoulder, pretty steep shot, so. 
it definitely didn't go all the way through I got about maybe six or seven inches of penetration and hopefully I caught the lung and maybe part of the heart I don't know we'll see I'm about to go get the gator and maybe come back over here and and just kind of drive around and see if maybe I can't uh, find a spot maybe where he went through the fence I kind of know there's like two or three trails right back over here where they come through the fence from the neighbor's property so I might be able to find something over there he may be laying right back over there but I don't have a pistol or nothing well guys that was pretty exciting um, other than that huge uh, spot of blood there where he was flopping around on the ground on his back and squealing and stuff I found a couple other drops heading towards the woods but you know and I drove around back over there on the gator for a while and and looked a little bit but man I know I hit him either right in the shoulder or right behind the shoulder and because it was a good old whack you know and he's bleeding out of the top not out of the bottom so I'm gonna have to go look tomorrow down those couple trails that they come in on and uh, if he's bleeding out of the top that stuff's so thick in there he'll rub something I'll find some blood in the morning so I'm gonna go home get me something to eat it's about oh it's probably close to midnight right now so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna sleep good tonight you'll try to find me a pig in the morning well guys let's go see if we can't find this pig I'm a little concerned about the whole tracking thing we got a quarter inch of rain last night so any blood may be washed away we're gonna find out I'm gonna follow a couple trails and and see if I can't come across something well there definitely ain't no blood right here I put this little stick in the ground right where that good pile of blood was so the rain did its job well there's the first trail I'm gonna go down well guys that last trail was pretty much a bust gosh I could get back in there and go tromping through the jungle but without blood I'd just be kinda searching for a needle in a haystack I reckon that rain sure got me I was expecting to find some blood on some of these low hanging branches and briars and brush back in here but nothing so far Well, it's not looking like I'm going to find this pig. I went down two different trails over here where those pigs go through. And there's no tracks, no blood. All got washed away. So, unfortunately, no recovery for this hunt either. Whatever. I had fun. I enjoyed it. That meat on that hog wouldn't be good right now anyway, so might as well let the buzzards eat it. Well, appreciate y'all watching. I guarantee you there's going to be some more hog hunting action with Hog Dude 1234. Hey guys, I just wanted to tell y'all about a cool website I've been going to lately. TexasHogHunter.com Y'all go check it out. There's a lot of good guys on there who like to tell stories about hunting. They got forums on there where you can share your hunting experiences and you can post pictures and videos and all kinds of cool stuff so like i said great website great people it's good fun too y'all check it out www.texashoghunter.com